welcome back to my channel. Today we are testing, trying on, and discussing the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. We're actually only discussing this one particular palette, which is the Bling Boss palette from the collection. It is the Purple Shades. This is the only one that I have in my possession, so this is the one we're going to be talking about. This is the look I created with the palette. I have tried it before today, so I do have thoughts, opinions, and all that. I'm going to show you swatches, I'm going to create this eye look, and then I'm going to tell you how I feel. So if you guys want to discuss this palette, if you want to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. Here's the palette. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. Um, this is the Bling Boss palette, and it's all over YouTube. It's honestly the prettiest one, I think. It, it's the one out of all of them that I see that I would maybe want to mess around with. The other ones, I feel like I have those colors in other palettes, you know? But, like, I will tell you guys... I don't think that this palette swatches as good as it looks on the eyes. It's just my opinion. I think a lot of people are giving this palette a hard time based on swatches. When I saw the swatches, I was like, not really into buying it. You know, I, I, and it just goes to show you, like, you can't judge a palette by its swatches. You just can't. You gotta put them on your eyes because it translates differently. Like a color can look one way in a swatch and look completely different on the eye because you're using different pressure when you apply it. You know what I mean? Like there's a difference between using your hand and dragging a shadow than taking a brush and fluffing it into your crease. You know what I mean? So I'm already gonna tell you that I like the palette. I've used it. I've tried it. I've created looks. I did one on Insta Stories and it came out nice and you guys said you wanted a review. Now, I also created a look with the old Jaclyn Hill palette and this palette together, okay? I took some of the colors. Let's see what colors did I use. I used like Butter, Hooter, Jax, and Roxanne maybe? Um... And then I used the black, and I used this deep, deep purple here. So I used those colors when I created a look, and then I used some from the new palette. And I gotta tell you, I actually, what video was it? I was wearing the look in a video, the CoverGirl video. The video that I, from the first day of drugstore week, where I reviewed the Exhibitionist lipsticks, that is the video. I'll link it down below. And I have a look with both palettes. So I use the old palette in the crease and the new palette on the lid. And I think the new palette is the only thing that saved the look because the shadows were really patchy. And I don't know why because I remember when I got this palette, I loved it. And now, like, every time I try to use it, my the shadows look patchy. I don't know why. I don't know what could be causing that. And so I don't know if the same, maybe it's like an age thing, it just happened over time, and I don't know if the same thing might happen to this over time, but right now I can tell you that these are better than the original that I have. So that being said, we're going to do the look only with the new palette, <laughs> but I just wanted to kind of touch on that to tell you my experience. So the look I'm going to create, I'm going to start with this color here called Hush Hush. It's a beautiful pale mauve color. And I'm just going to pop that in the crease for a transition. And I'm using this BH Cosmetics fluffy brush. And the color comes out like really pigmented. And it blends out really easy. Now I just want to kind of show you the difference between what it looks like in my crease and a swatch. They don't look the same. Of course they don't look the same because a swatch, like I just put way heavy pressure on this. And by the way, this didn't swatch bad at all, but 
I put this heavy pressure, so like look at what the shade comes out like, but then look at the difference of it on my eye when I'm using a fluffy brush and just, you know, dusting it into my crease. It's a totally different ball game. So just bear in mind that when you look at a palette's swatches and how it's com they're coming out because it doesn't mean it's bad. Okay, so next I think I'm going to take a rock star which is this purple color right here, and I'm taking a thinner brush. It's kind of like a Morphe 433, if you're comparing, or a MAC 217. Um, and I am just gonna pop that into the crease and just define things a little bit. Okay, so that's what it looks like without me blending it out on the edges or anything like that. I just kind of wanted you to see how it applies. And it looks really good. So now I'm just going to buff out the edges with that first brush. I'm not adding any more color right this second. But I like it. That looks good. And now I'm also going to swatch this color here just to show you the difference. So, yeah, okay. So, does that look the same on my eye as it does in the swatch? No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to actually take this shade here called Sparks and. I'm taking a smaller crease brush and I'm just going to pick up some color and I'm going to put that in the crease. I'm going to start kind of with the outer V and I'm just going to pop it in and then take it up into the crease. I think that this color is really pretty. And then I'm going to take this and swatch it as well. So like, that swatched like shit. Especially like, okay, look at the color in the pan and the color on my swatch. That was one pass over. Now I'm going to do a second one. Okay, so now this is, this is showing this is a shade that you kind of got to build up a little bit. Now it looks good. I just did three passovers. But on my eye, it doesn't look the same, but it looks good. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. And I'm just going to build it up just a little bit more on the outer V because I just really like this color. Next, I am going to take this shade here called Mystic and I'm taking it on this pointy brush and I'm actually just going to put it right in the outer V just to deepen it up a little more. Just to make it smoky. And I like to just press the color. That one is really pigmented. And that's, I think, all I really want to do there with that. And I am going to swatch this color too. And I'm having to go over it, the swatches, many, many times. There's a three. And it went on my eye so pigmented. So, yet again... Okay, so I just repeated the crease colors on the lower lash line, and now we are going to go in with the lid color. So I'm going in with the concealer brush, and I'm going to take this shade Glitz and Glam, and I'm taking quite a bit, and I'm just going to pop that into the lid. Now the one thing I will say, I did like these better wet, the shimmery shadows. 
and I'll show you the difference. Okay, so that is dry. And then I'm just going to take it and wet my brush. Now, can you see? I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up. It's so much better. So foiled, so pigmented. It's gorgeous. Like, look at the difference. It's so much brighter, vibrant, pigmented. And that's the case with most shimmery shadows. They just look better wet. So I'm just going to, um, I will say when I picked it up, it picks up a lot of product. So just bear that in mind that, you know, these shimmery shadows are soft. So if you press too hard, it might get a little crumbly. But like, look at that. It's so pretty. I'm going to take that shade and swatch it as well. That one swatched beautiful. So, I mean, you, you I might want to think about using your finger or um, applying these wet. But it applied to my lid dry much different than a swatch with my finger. Applying something with your finger and applying something with your brush is going to yield a far different result. So I mean if we're being fair when we swatch palettes, I don't know why we don't swatch with brushes. Just saying. But yeah, no, that's beautiful. So okay, the last color I'm going to use is this shade here called Pizzazz. And I'm taking that brush, I just cleaned it off, and going in. And I'm gonna wet that one as well, since it's a shimmery shade. And I'm just gonna pop it in the center where these two shades meet, like the light and the dark. That's so pretty. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna take a little glitz and glam and Let's fade them in to each other. I love it. I love that. Okay, and again, I'm going to swatch. So that one swatched really pretty with the finger as well. So, okay, I'm going to finish the rest of my eyes and I will be back to wrap up the video and let you know my final thoughts. Right, so I threw on some lashes and some liner and you guys I, I think it's beautiful. I, I really don't have I I just it looks so pretty like don't don't you think? So here are my thoughts. I think this palette is getting a very bad rap because the swatches aren't great. I don't think you should judge a palette by its swatches because, like I said, it applies very differently in a swatch than it does on the eye. Sometimes you can swatch a palette and it swatches bad and it applies bad, and sometimes it swatches bad and it applies good, like in this case, and sometimes it swatches beautiful and it applies beautiful. So <sighs> swatches are just not a good indicator. I think that this look is beautiful. I think the, that the shimmery shades are much better wet. But, I mean, everything blended out beautifully. There's no patchiness. I don't know. I just, I feel like there's just so much freaking drama around this. And honestly, it's makeup, first of all. And second of all, this girl has no benefit to put out a product that sucks. It's going to make her look bad. She's not going to do that. I, I wouldn't do that. I don't think anybody would do that. No one's going to want to put their name on something that's not good. Because... What's going to happen? Everyone's going to hate on it and then they're going to get dragged and nobody wants that. Trust me. I don't think that this, whether or not there are inconsistencies in some of the palettes, it's definitely not intentional and I'm, she's not out there pressing these shadows so I don't think that it's 
her fault. <laughs> but this palette, this particular palette that I have is fantastic. I think it looks beautiful. And that is my thoughts on it. Um, you know, this is the only one I tried. I haven't tried the other colors. This is the only one that really, like, when I looked at the colors, appealed to me. Like, I like these types of colors, and I've done looks similar to this on my channel before. So, um, yeah, this palette is the one that I can recommend to you. I think it's great if you've been thinking about it. It's 15 bucks. I mean, I think it's worth it. Look at this eye look. It's just so pretty. I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you tried the palettes? What are your thoughts? Um, let's keep it nice and leave me a comment down below. Tell me if you like this palette, if you like the formula, if you wanted to try it, if you're thinking about trying it, if you're not going to try it, let's have a conversation about it. Talk to me. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Go ahead over to iTunes and download the Glam Latte Beauty Podcast. We're also on Google Play if you are an Android user. And we also have CastBox, Spotify, SoundCloud, and Stitcher. I always have to like think about that because there's like six platforms and I always forget. But anyways, you don't want to miss the podcast. We talk about makeup. We interview guests and... It's a good time, so definitely go check that out, and I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!